Well, in 2015, I think it was, it was really, we had a, a really good start of the season with Anabon winning our co-sanctioned events. You know, that's how we look at it a lot when, when, when we have co-sanctioned events, it's like the best of the, the Asian tour players playing against top level European tour players and all that. And, and with the Asian tour playing coming up on tops uh, back to back, uh, I mean, that, that, that was a highlight for me. And, you know, Anabon's always shown a lot of promise you know, with this game the last few years, all year long he kept up his form and especially that top five uh, in the PGA Championship in major, I think that had to be a big highlight for him. He won our Order of Merit title for the Asian Tour and you know, he showed every promise that, you know, a lot of players been talking about him for the last few years. Honor Bond and Tong Chai being selected by Merit on the President's Cup and, and playing that where, you know, the international team narrowly lost to the, to the U.S. team. A lot this year was, was really good to see, like all the young players really breaking through. That's what the public wants, that's what the market forces want, is some good, young, exciting players. And I think getting players like, like Dan Tai, you know, uh, maybe Porn, and, and, and even a player like Chira Kumar breaking through in, in, in Delhi with, with the Panasonic Open. I think these players will ride on you know, moving forward into the future. And uh, that's re really been a highlight to, to see all these good young players coming out. We always try to find the best ways for the players to have a, a great uh, career pathway, and it's great to see them, you know, making grounds on, on other tours in the world. You know, if you see like a Priyad Maksang winning in Japan, you see Ricard Carbrook winning in Italy on the European tour, and you know, it's, it's great to see guys like, like Tong Chai Jai Di and Kira Dek really breaking into the top 50 in, in the world by, and playing successfully by, you know, Kira Dek winning twice on, on the European tour, one in China, one in Scotland, and so I think it's been a really good year for our players uh, playing overseas. Tawan's just been, you know, he's the Iron Man of golf, you know, he just, he just loves playing golf. You know, I, I first played with him back in 1988 or 89 when he was a rookie and, you know, he showed a lot, a lot of promise, but I, I think he really peaked when he got into his, his 40s and now being like 49 years old and still contending, you know, it just shows his, his true strength and character and, you know, playing 400 tournaments, that just shows uh, how much he loves the game and his, his tenacity. If you look at these players like Tong Chai and, and Kira Dek and even Anurban, you know, they, they've been playing on the Asian Tour for longer than five, ten years, and then now breaking into the top 50. You know, the top 50 is always an important benchmark for the players because that gets you into the, all the major championships and the World Golf Championships. And, and for me, it's always been my goal in, in running the tour that I want more players in the top 50. Then hopefully, you know, our players get more and more opportunities to win a major. It would be great that, they, you know, they're, they come out of winning majors starting off from the Asian Tour.